Hey guys, it's Angie from whippedgreengirl.com, your DIY skincare advocate, and I'm here today to talk to you about uh, adding to mark uh, to your face masks 101, plus sharing five DIY skincare masks at the end. Um, and if you don't have time to copy them down, don't worry, I'll be sharing them on my website, whippedgreengirl.com. So, to mark, mostly known as the bright orange spice found in curry. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, it's also the stuff that makes it so that when you drop curry all over your clothes, it stains it. Yeah, you can thank turmeric powder for that. Um, it's also a super skincare spice though. And we're going to go over the reasons why it's a super skincare spice, why people should be using it, and why it's so amazing. So, how to pronounce it is a great start. I still struggle with that. Uh, is it turmeric? Is it Turmeric? Is it? I don't know. So I went on dictionary.com and it is turmeric. So turmeric. I'm still struggling. Forgive me if I get it wrong. So it belongs to the ginger family and it's native to tropical South Asia. Um, now people have been using this stuff since like 500 BC so it didn't just pop up yesterday. Um, it's been in skincare forever but why are people using it? Main reason, if you go on Pinterest, you Google it, it's because it lightens skin. So it's a natural age, bleaching agent on your skin, essentially. Um, dark spots, you want to fade them, you want to be adding a turmeric powder to your face masks. Um, also, if you have acne scars or those terrible under um, eye dark circles, uh, turmeric powder is a great option for those types of problems. It also helps with the acne and clearing up blemishes. So if you feel like a you really need something for that type of uh, thing, especially me, one time in the month. I love adding turmeric powder to my face masks. It makes a huge difference because um, it's also an anti-inflammatory. Um, it uh, is really calming on your skin, and it's great on your pores as well. Um, it's super high in antioxidants, uh, meaning that it slows cell damage, meaning that it's anti-aging. Mm, yes, anti-aging. That's what we all want, right? So... Those would be the main reasons why you would be adding turmeric powder into your skincare. Um, now, how does it do it? Why does turmeric powder lighten skin? It's because it contains an ingredient called curcumin powder. Uh, it's like Mother Nature's uh, version of uh, a bleaching agent, I guess. Um, it's also the reason why people use it to whiten their teeth. It's that curcumin in there that does that. Now. Um, the curcumin in here is such a high level that it's even said to rival ibuprofen. That's definitely something to brag about. Now, um, there's a few downsides, I mean, to using a super bright orange spice on your skin. It can stain, right? Um, if this does happen to you, there are a few solutions. Um, it's recommended that you can also add some milk into your mask. Adding milk uh, is not always the best option for vegans. If that's the case, uh, you can use uh, an exfoliant after. So I just ended up mixing a bit of uh, water and sugar. Scrub that up, put it on your face, and it will remove or lift any of the orange left over by your mask. Um, now, as promised, I'm going to share a few DIY skincare recipes. If you don't have time to take note of them, don't worry. Like I said, I'll have them on my website under the DIY skincare tab. So go check it out at lipgreengirl.com. Um, now the first recipe, it only makes sense to share a whitening recipe because that is the principle of using this stuff, it seems. So I would mix together a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, yum, uh, one teaspoon of lime juice, and one teaspoon of olive oil. Mix this into a paste, apply it on your face for 15 minutes, and wash off. Um, and a mask for more acne prone type skin, um, I would go for a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder. Um, one tablespoon of hazelnut oil and one drop of tea tree essential oil. Again, a paste, put it on your face for 15 minutes and wash it off. Um, and now a mask for more sensitive skin, if your skin's like more finicky like mine can be sometimes. Um, a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of organic honey, uh, two tablespoons of pink clay powder, and two drops of mandarin essential oil. Paste it, get into a paste on your face, 15 minutes, wash it off. Um, for a turmeric uh, skin calming mask. So this would be like the best option. Let's say you have a bunch of girls coming over. You guys want to jump on the turmeric bandwagon. You want to give it a whirl. This is a great start. It's pretty uh, simple and good on all skin types. So it's one teaspoon of rose water, 
a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one teaspoon of jojoba oil, and one teaspoon of organic honey, and one drop of lavender essential oil. Again, you want to create a good paste, get that on your face, leave it there for 15 minutes, and then wash off. Um, more common, now whenever I was looking online, I guess this is a really common mask in um, beauty salons in India. I gave it a whirl because it was really fun. It's an organic flower base mask. Um, so you want to do two tablespoons of organic gram flour, one teaspoon of organic honey, a half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one fourth a teaspoon of sandalwood powder. If you don't have any, it's not the end of the world, just skip it. Um, and a small amount of milk uh, to create paste. Um, for vegans, you can resort to sweet almond oil instead. And because I like getting fancy with my DIY skincare, I added in a few drops of saffron uh, spice. And that as well is an anti inflammatory and um, a great lightening agent on skin. Leave that on for 15 minutes and wash off. I like the flower based mask because flour actually created like uh, something to really help bond the whole thing together. So I, I thought I would share that one with you guys. So now we know 101 why you would add turmeric powder to your face mask because it's lightening on skin. It's great for blemishes, it's great for acne spots, dark spots under your eyes, and it's also uh, calming generally. Um, and anti-inflammatory. Uh, so I hope that helped make sense of everything for you guys. Like my video. Hey guys, like so it below, Angie please. Uh, subscribe. That would be even better. Uh, leave a comment. Hey. I love so talking skin right with people. Thanks for watching my video, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.